This is Dr. Susan Thrall. Beginners in Visual Basic are oftentimes confused about the name of a control and its text property. They don't understand the difference. So let's have a quick demonstration of this. Let's say I put a button on my form. So I'm over here in the toolbox. I click on button and I drag a button onto the form. When I first drag or create this button, its name is the dummy name, button one. And if you look at your property panel over on the right, you can see its name is button one. However, if you scroll down, you'll see its text property is also called button one. So what's the difference? The name is what the computer sees as the name of this item. What is this thing called? It's called button one. And it's recommended that instead of keeping this dummy name, that you follow the Visual Basic naming conventions and give it a good name. So I'm going to call this Sample Button because this is a sample program. Now I type in Sample Button, I hit Enter, its name here doesn't change because this is the text property, this is what the user is seeing. The computer sees this whole button as being called Sample Button, but what's on it, what the user sees is the dummy button one text. So I'm going to change that and I'm going to type in click me. Once I enter new text into the text property, what the user sees is no longer its dummy name or its dummy text property, it's the text property that you put in. So therefore, the text property is what the user sees on your form, on your controls. How the computer sees this object, this control, is via its name, which is called Sample Button.